A fitting prize. Nothing will escape. Carve off a souvenir. Another piece for my collection. Hey guys, welcome to a new guy video. Today I'll show you how to play Ringa. Ability sequence is Q fall by E for the damage and CC, and then you max out the W last. Your ultimate is your most important assassination ability, so always put punch into this whenever possible. We will be starting out with the Q little one here, so that is an empowered aura attack that will also reset your basic attack timer. Ringa's passive will allow him to leap when he's in a brush, so that's basically the circle you can see right here. Basically displays his um, leap range. The second part of his passive is his ferocity, so that's uh, the bar you can see right below your HP bar. So whenever you use abilities, or if you leap at zero stacks, then you will get ferocity. Once you reach maximum ferocity, then your next basic ability will become empowered. The empower Q will deal a lot more damage and it will also give you bonus attack speed. Your W, empower W will basically allow you to remove any kind of CC, including suppression. So by taking W level 2 here guys, we get some sustain because it heals us based on the damage we have taken recently and it also deals AoE damage right so when you clear out camps full mon uh, multiple monsters in it like the wolves and the raptors you want to be using the empower w you do that because you will be applying the burn to all the camp monsters so you'll be able to clear them out much faster so don't use your empower q here So that's basically what allows her to clear out the raptors really fast and then we get to the single target camps then you can go for the empower Q. Always remember to use your Q as an auto attack reset that's really important so after we finish the wrap off here we can ward over the uh, crocs and then we can leap with our passive. So we're gonna smite this one here. We use the first smite on the Grump and then the last one on the Crux here. Use that Empower W. There we go. So we can clear those out really fast. Now you can clear out a bit faster here. You can actually finish at 315 if you do it properly. That needs, needs some practice. Oh, we can take this god nice. And then we're gonna head towards the other one because we'll make it before Hikrim does. So we will be getting a pretty big lead in the early game already here. Just need to watch out for set combo, okay. Now this shield on the croc will be gone immediately if you hard CC them, so we're gonna use the empower D here, there we go. And then the shield is gone, so now we can take it out really fast. I like to do a full clear on Rengar because we want that level 6 ASAP, but we can also go for ganks. I'm gonna flash you here. Because it's very hard to react to. You basically use your E first, empower E first, and then you flash. Makes it almost impossible to react to unless they know it's coming in advance. Got two kills here. We can also pick up Hikarim, I think. You want to be using your empowered E when ganking a lot because um, it gives you the root so it allows you to catch up. Already got a triple here so that's pretty nice. So we're just gonna go ahead and recall here we have a lot of gold so we also have the uh, bone tooth necklace. 
That's also a passive, so when we get takedowns on champions, then we are going to get permanent bonus AD. That's basically what you see right above our items here. So the champions marked with gray are the ones we already taken down, so we're getting the bonus stats from them. We just need from Set and Malzahar. The first item will be the Eclipse here, guys. Really good for assassination, it gives you a lot of damage and you also get a shield and some bonus movement speed, so... It is the perfect item for assassins, Dustblade also works here. Just gonna keep clearing here guys, cause uh, we want that level 6 ASAP so we can go for hunts. Always make sure that you balance ganking and farming so you stay up in XP here. Level 6 is your super important power spike on Rengar. Also make sure that you use that smite because uh, you want to have it transformed into the red smite here so you get more damage and also make sure one versus one a lot better. Nice, there we go. I like to use that in Powered E a lot here guys. Because hard CC is so effective for ganging, so now we can take the drake here, because we saw Hikarim top side, so... We want to take something on the other side. Yeah, of course you can do drake early on with Rengar. We also have a lot of bonus damage and sustain, because we got a triple in the early game here, so this should be pretty easy for us to take. There we go. And we got level 6 here, so that is our hunting ability, so how we use it, you have to be patient. Watch what I'm doing right here, I'm waiting for Seth to use his W. Because that is the ability he needs to escape with, so I'm gonna wait. Just be patient with it, you want to be flanking. Wait for him to take the W and then you can go in. Now we can go. Nice, and that's a pretty free kill right there, so that's how you want to use the ultimate. It's going to make you... It's going to make you go into stealth. And then you haunt the nearest target, you gain true vision of them, you also take... But you will get some armor pen and deal bonus damage as well. They can see when you're hunting them though, so that's why you want to be flanking. We can also go for Maza here, he should be dead. We're gonna get the last tag of our passive here. There we go. So a fully stacked passive is going to give us 25% bonus AD. So it is the champion that's going to get a lot of AD in the late game. Really helps with that one shotting when you have such huge AD numbers. And just keep clearing here, so whenever you have your ultimate up, you really want to be getting something from it, whether it is a kill or you burn the summoners. Go, gonna clear the top side here, then we can look for a recall because we have a lot of gold. So we can get the Eclipse here. What's important about your ultimate guys is that... I see a lot of people trying to use abilities uh, in your ultimate and if you do that... Then it's going to cancel the ultimate, unless it's your Q. Your Q is the only ability that does not cancel out your ultimate. So how you want to do it is that... You press your ultimate. And then once you're close to your target, you can press your Q before you leap. Then while you're mid-air, that's when you want to use your E and your W. Because that way you get your ferocity stacks up, and then you can use your Empower Q. Because if you use your W and your E while you are in your ultimate, then it's going to cancel it out, so... Don't do that, guys. Oh, he missed that Q, yikes. I can flank here, I'm not gonna use my ultimate, I think I can let Echo get the kill, I'm just gonna get the assist here. Right? Wayne needs to watch out topside.
We have our ultimate up, so we want to look for a kill here. Remember, you get a lot of bonus movement speed, but once you're close to your target, the target you hunt um, will have an icon about them, so they can see that you're coming. They just don't know where you're coming from. So when they see this icon here, they will normally be running backwards, right? So that's why you want to be taking a flanking position before you use your ult. See if you can find Hagram here, he should be around here. Okay, there he is. We're gonna use the Empowered E guys so we can lock him up. There we go. Empowered E is a really nice way to secure the kills. We can go for set here. I'm not sure if he has his W up. Oh wow, he actually took that. Wow, he actually griefed that one. He thought that he could combo me under the tower. He probably thought that I was committing to the fight, so he wanted to make it a one for one, but uh, I'm way too tanky right now with the red smite and the eclipse, so I'm getting a lot of uh, shield and movement speed so I can easily kite him. So I'm going to take the herald here. Always want to be focusing down the objectives, so the Herald, we can use that to break open one of the towers. I'm probably going to use the top side so I can uh, get Wayne out of this landing phase here, because it is going to be pretty difficult for her against the Malsaha. We can take away jungle camps here, that's what you want to do when you have a lead. Or if you're stronger than the enemy jungle, then you want to be invading and really setting them behind. We see Hecarim in the bottom side. So since he is in the bottom side, we want to be taking something in the other side, right? And we are probably going to lose the Drake because my bot lane died. When he's doing good top sides, so I'm just going to use the Herald here and then we can get the first tower. So they're going to get the Drake, we're going to get the first tower. So it's more worth it for us right now. I'm just gonna wait for the minions to crash here. There we go. Normally before using Herald you want to put the tower at low HP, but here it doesn't really matter because it's going to one-shot it pretty much. There we go. Your Herald deals true damage to towers, and towers normally become tangier the low HP they are, so that's why you want to be using at the end. Unless it can one-shot it of course. Nice, we got level 11 here. We have a fully stacked passive with the uh, Bone Tooth Necklace. We have a lot of AD. We can go for set here. He should not be able to escape with that bonus movement speed we are getting. I can smite him here. He's barely going to deal any damage to us, guys. And because of that brush here, then we can leap around and he will not be able to escape. The Rengar is very strong when you fight around brushes because you get that extra mobility from your passive here, so if possible try to do that. I have a lot of gold as well so definitely need to base. There we go, so you can get a complete item here, so you're gonna get the other crit and the sell the item. Collector here, so we are going to crit build, the best build on Rengar right now. And the collector also gave you some lethality as well as crit and a lot of AD. And the passive is also really useful for one-shotting, so you make sure that the target stone escape with almost no HP, so very strong item on Rengar and lethality users in general. Almost have ultimate ups, of course, in the late game this ultimate will be on a really low cooldown as well. Control wards can spot you though, so be careful of that. Go for Masa here, he cannot kill us at all, we are too far ahead. 
I don't need to waste my ultimate. The thing is, if I had my Empower W here guys and he altered me, then I could use that and then get rid of his suppression. It's one of the few abilities in the game that can do that. GP's W can do that as well. You can cancel out any CC with your W. Okay, bot lane is struggling again, so we need to help them out, so... Next item will be the Essence Reaver here. We want to crit heavy items with a lot of AD as well, so we want the Essence Reaver, and then we want the Infinity Edge, and then if they're building armor, then we can go for the armor pin item. We can go for his trail here. If he walks up, then we don't have to ult. Oh, he's going back. Then we can just go ahead and kill him. Alright, that's pretty easy. So we are too far ahead. So this is how it feels to play against assassins. You cannot do anything if they're ahead. You're just gonna straight out one shot them. Oh, it looks like Lux wants the uh, blue buff. I don't really matter though. It's not too important on Rengar. Okay, what? I'm not sure if she tried to leash me or something. Oh, that's a set, okay. He's dead. He cannot win the fight. I don't even need to use the smite on him here. But this is why um, Eclipse is so nice compared to Duskblade, is that it gives you some really useful in-game combat stats. You get that shield so it really helps you survive in fights as well. We can go for the kill on these guys here, we can dive them. Just need to wait for my ultimate here, or if they OX then. Oh that's so nice, I'm gonna flashy here. Make sure that Israel is locked up so he can't E away. I'm actually gonna go around and then try to um, jump on them again. Because they won't be able to get away. Oh, that's a nice binding. There we go. And it's a double kill as well. There we go. Awesome. All the kills going um, to the assassin here. So we're just going to keep one-shotting anyone in the game. This champion snowballs so hard. If he gets the lead, then it's pretty much doomed for the entire enemy team here. So we're going to go for the drake. Focus down the objectives, really important. We still have our ultimate so we can look for a kill if somebody overextends. We're just gonna go ahead and reset here because we have a lot of gold again. So we're gonna get the Essence Reaver. The mana passive doesn't really matter guys, that's not why you buy it. You get a lot of damage from it and you get the Sheen as well. You get even more damage on your Qs, and you also have a lot of crit right now, and then you just need the Infinity Edge. Let's see if we can find someone who's so extending. Remember that your ultimate covers a pretty big range, but they can't see you when you're getting closer. Okay, that's a weird pike ultimate. I can go on alts here. Gonna wait a little bit, there we go. Oh, that's a set, okay. We're gonna go for Astral. We can go for Pike as well. He was probably getting away. Too fast. Oh, never mind. He actually messed up. He should have just backed off here. There we go. Use the Empower D. For the root. This crit build just allows us to one-shot everyone, guys. We're going to deal so much damage. Oh, the rip off is up. I'm actually gonna wait in the brush here because I think somebody will come. I'm gonna take the red and then I can camp here. That's what you want to be doing a lot on Ringar because you have that leap on your passive so you cover extra distance so when they come you can just go ahead and kill them. Go. Pretty much one shot him so he doesn't have enough time to use his W and get out. Legendary. 
So when you gank, you normally want to be using your E when you do it for um, a gank. But when you, when you go for the one shot, then you want to be using your Empower Q. If they have a lot of CC though, then you want to be using your Empower W so you can get out and use that bonus movement speed to escape with. We can go for Hecarim here as well. Oh. Actually messed up here and this is what happens if you use W or E while you are in your ultimate. Because you want to be using them while you are mid air in the jump or the air fifth. So that was the Rengar guides. Of course I do hope this was helpful. As always see you guys in the next one.